Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a video to show you how to change your um, input the keyboard input language or settings um, one of the major problems with today uh, today's computers and uh, languages is that many different countries might have different layouts of the keyboard and depending on the layout that you are, are want to use, it might not be the correct one that is installed on your computer. So, um, here in Canada, for example, we have a layout that's called um, Canada French and another layout that's called um, Canada Multilingual and they each have their own layout so depending on the computer you have you might want to change the keyboard layout so how do you actually go and change that layout first of all you gotta learn and understand what's the layout of your own keyboard because that's very important if you want to choose the right one uh, second of all maybe it's not the keyboard itself that's wrong but you want you're used to a certain keyboard so you gotta know what's the name of that type of keyboard so what you do is go into the upper or lower right and take the charms bar, go into the search and there you'll click settings and type language until you see the settings and you'll see language, add a language, region. One of the options is change input methods. Click on that and once you're there click on your language. If you only have one then there's only one language installed. If you have more than one like me you'll have multiple languages. Click on the one that you use that you want to change the keyboard layout and go into options. There you see that the input method is oh US. Is that what I want? Maybe I want to have Canadian English for example. All you have to do is add an input method and there you look at the different keyboards so English from India, there's Canadian multilingual that's my keyboard that I was talking about here in Canada so maybe I want to use this one if you aren't sure of what it looks like is it a good keyboard you have the little preview at the right side it's going to show you the layout of your keyboard when you click that option so it's important to uh, take a look if you're not sure if it's a good layout. For example, even though my computer can be in English here, I would like probably to have Canadian French as a layout because it matches my own computer layout here. I can do a preview. It's going to tell me what it looks like. And if that's the one you want, then just double click on it and that's the input method. Now you see I have two inputs here because I already had one so the other one I don't want it I'll just click the remove button uh, right next to uh, the same uh, input that I don't want and here goes I have Canadian French and of course I've just seen also you can have different input methods so maybe you have an onboard keyboard and a, uh, a, wi a wireless keyboard that don't match, don't have the same layout, then you can have more than one language for the input methods or uh, that's you know pretty customizable here. And once everything is done, all you have to do is click save and you're ready to use your brand new keyboard layout when you are going to um, these computers and typing on the internet or whatever in Word um, the keyboard layout is for every programs in your uh, computer. So if you enjoy these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a request of a video or a feature you'd like to see reviewed, let us know. And if um, you have that new Windows 8 computer, want to learn more, uh, check out all the uh, different videos we already have online and much much more coming up so that you'll be able to use and learn Windows 8. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official 
Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.